just. <laughs> I consulted. I'm I consulted sorry, that, I with him. What? I consulted Professor with who? him. Ron, Professor Ron Gottsman. From UCLA. Yes, and he said that the poinsettias originated in Mexico around 1618, yeah. the year. Uh -huh. And ever since then, there have been two correct pronunciations. Pro pronunciations. Pronunciations. <laughs> But, but go on. You look like you might have had potatoes for lunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead. No, what did the good anyway, professor say? Yeah. One of the correct pronunciations uh, uh, used infrequently yes. is poinsettias, as you <laughs> say. And the other one is poinsettias. Mm -hmm. And it is an indication of your manliness <laughs> in how you pronounce it. In other words, you're saying if I say uh, if I say poinsettia, you're saying that I'm a little late in the loafers. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> a little light in the galoshes, yes. <laughs> so uh, I guess this all comes down to whatever you want to use: poinsettias uh, or poinsettias. Well, no, I mean the the American version is generally considered to be poinsettias. I see. <laughs> is it Professor Alan Ringwald? Professor Alan Ringwald? <laughs> Says Alan it's Ringwald. A phony, that's a phony right there. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Alan Ringwald said this is one more example of why people should never listen to our band leader. <laughs> oh. And by the way, is it unemployed or unemployed? <laughs> It's, uh, have you all done your shopping? No. Remember, it is very important to pick out the right gift for the right people. It was only a year ago, I think that the chairman of Exxon said, hey, why don't we send a case of champagne to Captain Hazelwood and the boys? <laughs> You read that uh, President Bush dressed up as Santa Claus at the White House? You know, the kids were there, and one kid dropped up and got up on his lap and said, Santa, will I get Nintendo for Christmas? And Bush said, too soon to comment, wouldn't be prudent. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, tonight, oh, here's something that's really interesting. McDonald's, I mentioned this the other night. The McDonald's is yeah. about to open, I guess, the biggest McDonald's in the world, and where do you think it's gonna open? In Moscow, yeah. in the Soviet Union. Seats about 3,000 people are gonna hire 600 employees. Now the problem is over there, there's a shortage of meat, as you probably know in Russia. So what they're thinking of doing is getting out their own farm to kinda, to grow the beef. And they wanna do it with a company called the East Independent Exporting Industrial Organization. That way they can say our McDonald's has a farm, E-I-E-I-O. So, <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We will be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tonight Show is pleased to present the NBC Yuletide Carolers performing an all time holiday favorite. On the first day of Christmas, my true love took from me the big house behind the pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love took from me two swimming pools and the house in the hills of Beverly. On the third day of Christmas, my true love took from me three French maids, two, two swimming pools, and the condo in Waikiki. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love took from me Four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the penthouse in NYC. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love took from me 
Five wedding rings, four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the brownstone in Washington, D.C. <laughs> On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love took from me six sequin jackets, five wedding rings, four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the timeshare in Bimini. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love took from me seven chauffeured limos, six sequin jackets, five wedding rings, four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the ranch in the Napa Valley. <laughs> On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love took from me the eight couple of seven chauffeured limos, six sequin jackets, five wedding rings. Four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the yard in the Florida Keys. <laughs> On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love took from me nine tenths of stars, eight couple of leaders, seven chauffeured limo, six sequin jackets, five wedding rings, four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the beach house and new jacuzzi. <laughs> On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love took from me ten Zamfir albums, nine tenths of stars, eight couple leaders, seven chauffeured limos, six sequin jackets, five wedding rings, four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the place in the south of Italy. <laughs> On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love took from me eleven tons of Alpo, ten Zamfir albums, nine tenths of stars, eight. Seven chauffeured limos, six sequin jackets, five wedding rings, four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, and the villa on the Champs Elysees. <laughs> on the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love took from me twelve checks a yearly, eleven tons of album, ten Zamfir albums, nine tenths of starters, eight couple leaders, seven chauffeured limos, six sequin jackets, five wedding rings. Four bedroom sets, three French maids, two swimming pools, everything but the Christmas tree. Okay, Kevin Meany's here tonight. Uh, Kevin Meany's here tonight. He's a funny guy. On New Year's Eve, he's going to be uh, working at the Performing Arts Center in San Jose, California. And the 18th of January, he's going to be at a place called Catch a Rising Star in Princeton, New Jersey. Would you welcome Kevin Meany? Kevin? <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, went shopping today. Uh, I go shopping, people mistake me for an employee. Ladies come up to me, pardon me, sir, where do I return the gifts? I'll give them to me. <laughs> Take anything you like and walk right out that door with it. Are you sure? I never heard of that policy before. Oh, ladies are stuck at the door in handcuffs. He said I could take it. <laughs> I'm not a shoplifter, it's him. Look at him, look at his eyes. He's on something, I know it. My mother used to always say that. You're on something, aren't you? <laughs> Up there in your room with the Jimi Hendrix poster upside down. <laughs> coo coo ka -choo. What's going on up there? Who's the walrus for crying out loud? God, my mom, around Christmas, every year she gets a big beehive hairdo. Ten feet above her head. She can dust the ceiling with this thing, it's so big. One year it was bigger than the Christmas tree. We were hanging ornaments off it. Always wrapping it up in toilet tissue, too, protecting it from dust. There's never any paper in the bathroom. It's all in her head. She looks like a big snow cone walking around. I'll get that for you, darling. Okay. Oh, my Aunt Mary has the big beehive, though, because she's the oldest, you know. The older the meanie, the bigger the hive. She's 90 now. She freezes food for a living. Older people love to freeze food. I grow up at her house. She's always trying to feed me. Kevin, would you like a piece of pie? I'd love to have a piece of pie. I'm right in the middle of it. You know, I put that pie in the freezer back in 1959. Mmm, mmm. How many blackouts did that go through? <laughs> oh. 
She's still driving, too, which frightens all the kids in the neighborhood, you know? She pulls into that cul-de-sac at about 75 miles an hour. Kids scatter from one side of the street to the other. All you see is this big 76 Buick Electra barreling down the street. Head sticking out the window, knocking kids over with her beehive. <laughs> Tricycles and big wheels smashed to the grill. That's it, Mary! <laughs> one year, she stayed over. She stayed over for Christmas, so my brother and I had a bunk in the same room, you know? It was awful. As Soon as the lights went off, my brother goes, I'm not really who you think I am. I'm a lot bigger and scarier than I appear in light. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm sharing this with you. <sighs> I tell you, sometimes we'd come home, we weren't allowed in the house. The minute we get home, my mother would say, get out, get out of the house. If you have nothing to do, I'll find something for you to do. Go out in the backyard and dig a hole or something. Dig to China for crying out loud. Did you ever do that, dig to China? Was I insane or what? I used to wonder if kids in China were digging to America. <laughs> oh yeah, let's dig to America, oh boy. <laughs> I'm six years old down in the backyard digging away, my dad would come out. What are you doing down there, Kevin? I'm digging to China. All right, get home for supper. Never tell me it was impossible. Never learned mine until I was about 12, when I burned my hands on the core of the earth. <laughs> The Chinese kid, ah! Get in here for dinner, for crying out loud. Oh. Went out for dinner tonight, uh, got the hot plate. Always get that hot plate when I go out, you know? That's a hot plate, sir, hot plate, ma'am. You're gonna have to leave the restaurant, the plates are too hot. <laughs> you got some crazy chef in the kitchen putting plates in the oven. He's not cooking anything, he's cooking plates. <laughs> Waiters walking around in big asbestos suits, big mittens on their hands. That's a hot plate, you better not touch that. As soon as the waiter leaves the table, your hands go right to the plate. Ah! Same as the core of the earth joke. Ah! It's the same joke. Ah! <laughs> Just picked up an album today. Johnny Mathis and Ethel Merman, one of my favorites uh, for the holidays, you know. Hey, bells ring. I listen in the lane. Who's listening? A beautiful fight, a fight, in a tent. And far away is the blue bird, here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song, a song, a king in a tent. And thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> good to see you again. Oh, it's good to be back. That's funny stuff. Thank you funny very stuff. much. Funny yeah. stuff. Truth. Parents, huh? <laughs> Problems with your parents? What did they give you for Christmas? Do they, do they uh, still get you stuff? Yeah, last year they got me the clapper. Well, well that's the way you were. Clap on. Okay. I like the woman in the clapper commercial, you know? It's one clap, she's out. <laughs> I'm in my room clapping on, clapping off. Parents are screaming at Stop clapping off up there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Clapping on, clapping on. We're crying out loud. <laughs> Neighbors think we're insane. Do we have to do this already? Okay, we'll be right back. There we are.